Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. We got another car video, and the title of this video is Is It Okay to Lie to Women? Oh man, a very, very interesting title and topic to discuss in the manosphere because you have very different opinions. Some guys feel like, hey, women lie to men. So it's okay for men to lie to women. Some guys feel like, hey, you should never lie to women. Because just because women lie to us doesn't mean you got to be like women and lie to them. You know, and for me personally, I'm more of the uh, men should never lie to anybody. Strong, confident men should never lie to anybody, but especially not to women. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to lying, it is a comes from a place of insecurity and and weakness. Um, and of course, there's always different variables and reasons people lie. But in general, um, you shouldn't lie to anybody. Because when you do lie, you put that person on a pedestal. Because you're afraid of whatever they may do. Um, in retaliation so that fear of that reaction or their response gives them power over you though of course depending on what you lie about you know it could be something important that the other person would want to know but at the end of the day you chose out of your own fear and insecurity and really weakness to lie to somebody because you did not want to get a certain reaction or response from them, whatever it may be, you know, and you doing that to women, um, it's another way of putting women on a pedestal and we don't want to be doing that. You know what I mean? It's just not good. It's not good to uh, put anybody on a pedestal like that because it shows somebody has power over you, you know, and as strong, confident men, we got to have power in our lives. And we got to live lives on our terms. And we want to have people around us who accept our honesty. And they respect you for being honest. Because whenever you're honest, especially in all situations, it shows confidence. And it shows strength. And honesty is always the best policy. Because if somebody's going to respond negatively to you um, with you being honest with them, you don't want them to be in your life. And again, of course, there's always different variables. People lie because of different things. And I get it. You know, if somebody has a gun to your head, and they ask you something and if you lie it will spare you you know I'm staying you, you'll more than likely be more uh, willing to lie it still is weakness and it still shows that insecurity but it's more understandable you know and I get it but most people are not in life and death situations most people lie about stuff that they have no right to lie about or no need to lie about but they do it because of their fear and insecurity because of somebody else's reaction. You know, maybe you cheated on a girl or you're cheating on a girl. She questions you about a phone call or how you know this girl, the girl you're cheating on, and you lie to her about it. That's that's weak. That's insecure. Because if you were really strong, confident, first, you would have told her, your girlfriend or your wife that you would have been seeing other women. It was a requirement for you. And either she leaves or she doesn't. But second, let's say you didn't and you just kind of found this girl and y'all had a connection. You would let her know what it's all about and also let her know it's not against her, but it's just something you need. And again, if she was wanted to leave, so be it. But lying is not ever a good policy it's just it's just a weakness and i get it 
when you have life in this situations, we can uh, we could reconsider. But again, most people don't go through life in death situations, but they still lie. You know, and it's just it just doesn't look good because if you had to lie, or if you felt you would want to lie if you did get caught, what would you want to do that thing for? What would you want to do something that if you got caught, you'd have to lie about? Again, I get it. Maybe, you know, it feels good or and then somebody said they don't want you to do it and you do it. But that still is a sign of weakness. Because if you really wanted to do what you're doing, you should not care. As a strong, confident man, you don't care what people think. Now, when it comes to stuff that you want to do and that make you happy or make you feel good, you don't care. But obviously, if you're lying about it, then you do care. And there's a problem because now you're putting that person's opinion or whatever they potentially may do above what you want to do and your happiness. And that's never good. Never good at all. Because as strong, confident men, we put ourselves first. Of course, we're not just assholes and we just, you know, neglect everybody and just we, we just terrorize her. But no, we put ourselves first and people who support us, we help them, you know. But if you're doing something that if you got caught, you would have to lie about, you shouldn't be doing it. You should not be doing it. Not at all. That's a problem. And you know me personally, I don't I don't believe in white lies. I don't believe in white lies because again, if somebody asks you something and you being honest could offend them, they shouldn't ask you. Because now it's almost like a trick. And sure, you can't you can't control how somebody responds or how they react to you being honest with them. And and you should hope and keep in mind that they should respect your honesty and they should respect where you're coming from when you tell them the truth. Because then you can say, hey, you can tell them, I could have lied to you to make you feel better. And eventually you find out down the line I was lying and then you'd be more hurt. You know, honesty is always the best policy. White lies, regardless of the situation, of course, unless it's life and death. Because you want to be around people who respect honesty. Because that means even if you tell them a hard truth, either they leave you or they work on themselves. To be more comfortable with hearing those truths. Whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, whatever it is. Where you tell them the truth and it hurts. You want to drive a positive reaction. Because the more honest you are, the more confident you are. And for somebody to be able to deal with your honesty and your confidence. They also have to be more honest and confident. Not with themselves too. And therefore, it will translate throughout their lives. And I get it. You know, when you are dealing with women who are lying and cheating and manipulating, when you put up with that, that is a reflection of you. It shows your weakness and insecurity because you're putting up with a woman who's being weak and insecure. You know, so it is all so simple and it really is so easy. Honesty is the best policy. White lies are not good. You know, and if you have to be around people who 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 want you to lie or are more comfortable when you when you lie to them, those are not people you want to be around. Rest assured, they are not in a good place. You know, because we all know about who we are. And we could 
most people, well, I like to believe people can tell when people are lying to them. But again, sometimes the truth hurts. But it is necessary. And always tell the truth. Because believe it or not, oops, we got a little squirrel out here. <laughs> but believe it or not, it's the strong and confident men who are the happiest men. Don't ever forget that. So, that's all I got for y'all today. And, um, of course, if you like this video, um, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. And um, let me know. What other topics you guys would like me to talk about here on my on my channel? And of course, if you like this video, hit the donate button. I really appreciate it. All donations are always welcome, for sure, for sure. So, until next time, peace and stay safe. I will see y'all then. <laughs>